Data quality checking is the process of reviewing data to discover inconsistencies and anomalies and performing data cleaning to improve the quality. Systematically checking data and eliminating errors increases the reliability of and adds credibility to your results. This short video goes on to highlight key stages in an activity at which data checks should be carried out and activities performed to ensure the activity collects and analyses quality data. Before even collecting data, you can start thinking about data quality. For example, how to phrase questions in a survey to minimise different interpretations. At this stage, you can also start thinking about and producing a list of checks to run on the data once it has been collected. Enumerators and field supervisors should be responsible for running basic data checks in the field. Identifying issues at this stage maximises the chances for incorrect data being corrected as the enumerator can go back to the household, individual or experimental plot. If using a customised data entry system, a number of basic consistency checks can be incorporated into the data entry software to reduce mistakes occurring during data entry. We generally recommend double data entry, so two individuals separately entering the data. The two sets of data can then be compared and any inconsistencies can be identified and updated. Once the data has been entered, you can run further checks by producing simple frequency tables, cross tabulations and summaries. For numeric variables such as yield, examining statistics such as the minimum and maximum and plotting the data can be a very useful method of identifying incorrect values or outliers. At this stage, you should focus your checks on any derived variables. These are new variables you create based on the raw data, such as calculating the yield in tonnes per hectare from the original yield data and plot sites, and any data manipulations that have been conducted. If the activity involves paper questionnaires or field reports, checks need to be put in place to ensure all of the questionnaires or reports are handed into the office. A simple logging in process can be implemented to help with this. For electronic data, checks need to be conducted to ensure all of the files have been transferred and are not corrupted. Checks should also be made for duplicates. You should consider a backup system for your handheld devices. Irrespective of the data collection tools being used, you must check everything from the field has been received in the office. The data is uncorrupted and complete and the expected number of questionnaires or electronic files have been received. You should start keeping an audit trail as soon as you formally start checking your data. This can be in the form of a document containing details of the checks that took place in the field and in the data entry. Once the data has been entered, it should include details of any corrections or changes to the data and how any outliers were dealt with. This document should be regularly updated until the final primary data set or data sets have been finalised. Once you have entered your data, you need to ensure you regularly start keeping backups. You may be making several small changes to the data set. You need to ensure that a record is kept of these changes and you know at all times which data set contains the corrections and which contains the original values. If you keep regular backups, then if an incorrect update is made, then you can always go back to the previous version. During an activity, you're going to have several versions of the data. The raw data, the primary data, and the several data sets in between these two stages. It is imperative that you keep track of these versions and record the changes made from one version to the next in an audit trail document. More details about data quality checking concepts introduced in this video are available in the corresponding guide as part of the data management support pack.